welcome back everyone. Today I wanted to go over the Black Widow colored pencils. I don't know if you recall but I had gone on a pencil shopping spree and I've always wanted to try the set of Black Widow but I just never got around to it so as part of my shopping spree I got the Black Widow pencils. Um, they do come in multiple sets so to start with the original Black Widows came here in this tin it's 24 uh, count pencils and then they released not too long after that the Scorpion which is also Black Widow and again 24 count and then the last was um, oops, there we go the Cobra set and they're all labeled here at the bottom so you can tell which order they're in. And each set has its own unique set of colors. They come inside these tins. The lid, the lid doesn't have a hinge so you just pop it off. And then they're in here in these plastic trays. Because they are so separated I ended up moving mine to an actual pencil case but they are nice and snug in here they don't move around and on the back of each one it tells you the unique colors you're getting with the tin that you've selected so this is the Cobra one and these are all the colors that come in Cobra so while this is a good swatch of course you know you always want to actually swatch the pencils because they aren't going to match up with that but We'll move these aside. Then came the skin tone ones. They released these actually not too long ago. Um, they have the light and the dark skin tones, but instead of 24 count, they're just 12 count each. And then the same thing. Oh, these are so hard to open. You know, they come in these little plastic trays and on um, this one, they actually don't do it on the inside. These are technically your swatches, but they don't give you the color names. So, um, but like I said, you know, because they were all in five different tins, I had to basically put them in a pencil case. So what I did was I took one of my older pencil cases and I stuck them in here. This is a very weird pencil case, which is why I don't use it. <laughs> it like fans out, it's really weird, layers on layers. But what I did was I put them all in here in color order, combining all pencils, which comes out to 96 pencils total. And the nice thing is I'll always know what set they came from because every single pencil comes with the black, you know, hexagon shape barrel. All of them have a dipped end. Some are even color dipped. But they will have this indicator in red telling you, you know, it'll be a picture of a scorpion, cobra, or black widow. But then it will also say, um, usually like black widow here or cobra. And then even the number, the color coding system. So all the black widows are BW. Whereas <clears throat> Cobra would say Cobra on it, and oops, moving around. CB is for Cobra, and then you still have that Cobra little thing there. And then, like for example, Scorpion would tell you Scorpion. It has a Scorpion picture and SC. Now with the skin colors, what they did, because you know they had a light and a dark skin color set, was. All of the skin colors just say skin, but then it's SL, which is skin light tones, and then the color code and name, whereas the dark tones are SD. So you can still tell where every single one of your pencils came from set wise, which is really good. That way, you know, you run out or, um, you know you're trying to figure out which set is which you can always just look at here and know which one to replace but again once you order all 96 it's a real pain if you want to go in between all these tins which is why I went and put them all in a pencil case so 
here are the 96 colors all in order swatched out I did use the uh, color swatch chart for 96 count that I do from Mystic Sparkle Wings which I will put in the description below and as you can see like these colors are super bright very vibrant you know you compare them to like um, polychromos and prisma colors they do have some colors that are just as vibrant but I, these black widows are honestly some of the brightest colors I've seen which is good and bad you know I really love how vibrant they are but also you don't have a ton of neutral tones you know like with my my yellows I didn't feel like there was a very soft yellow to work with even this light yellow on paper was just bright I didn't have like a pastel pink and this blush here is more purpley so it was missing some of those lighter almost pastel just you know light colors that you can use and blend and create better gradients you know even with the blue you'll see here this is all we have for blue it's just these rows and that's not a lot of blue same with greens I mean if you do a lot of Johanna Bassford books you might find these are a little frustrating because I mean this is all you have for green but again it is a 96 set I mean but I have 72 sets from Derwent that still have way more green and blue so every brand is different they do give you a lot of oranges and a lot of yellows though which is always good I always feel like some brands especially when they're a smaller count short you on those you do get tons of browns in here which are great a lot of them are coming from the skin tone set though so if you were to buy those three core sets you won't get a lot of these browns in fact you can see I put the codes here on the sides most of them come from the skin tone line in fact it's one two three four yep so four of those are skin tones alone and they're your like darker colors and then they're also split up between the sets like the uh, Cobra set gives you a couple of these browns and then you would have to get the other browns from your scorpion sets here and then you would have to get others from your black widow set so like if you just ordered the Black Widow pencils, you would have one, two, three browns. And that's it. So you almost are forced to buy all 96. But the good news is they won't break your, you know, budget too much. The 24 count tins are 16.97 each on Amazon. And then the skin tone sets are 10.97 each on Amazon. So pretty affordable. I mean, you're not even paying a dollar a pencil. And, you know, if you compare that to Prismacolor, it's definitely cheaper. But I still dig the colors. I love the names of the colors. I think that's what drew me to these. They're they're kind of all over the map. They have some neutral ones, they have some dark and scary ones, and other ones you're just like, well, okay. But you know, like, I mean we have Blood Diamond cyanide pink where did that one go cyanide pink um, and then they throw in like a watermelon and a sunset and then you drop down to stink bug and toadstool which are just Halloweeny and venom and then you know you still have your generic ones like blue heaven green grass Aquarius so they're kind of just all over the spectrum but I'm not really criticizing them for that because I think some of them are really cute. One thing though, <clears throat> you'll notice I have two delicious pinks on here. One of these should have been pig's ear and when I swatched them I noticed that this one here was a little darker than this one but they both said delicious pink on the barrel. So that is one thing to be aware of and I'll even find it here let's see maybe probably would have helped if I had them all out already wouldn't it 
We got our fancy, oh, here we go. Some of these are hard because they get covered. So I was given two delicious pinks and I'm pretty sure it's a printing error because I don't know if you can tell the leads definitely are a little different in color and once you swatch them they do look different. I unfortunately don't know what the real pig's ear looks like so I wouldn't be able to tell you which one is actually delicious pink and which is not. So that is kind of one of the drawbacks of these budget pencils. You will get you know printing errors like this. Uh, I've even seen people have printing errors with their castle art. So just something to keep in mind. But overall, when you consider the price, it's not that big of a deal. Now the pencil construction, they're pretty lightweight. The core, I didn't even bother to look up the, the size on this one, I'll be completely honest. It's been chaos with a new puppy around here. I mean, I barely have enough time to drink a cup of coffee. And so before I got this all set up, I had to get the kids ready to watch the dog. And then I totally forgot to look up the core width or uh, let's see the core size and it doesn't say it on the packaging. <clears throat> I'll find out and I'll put it in the description, but these are way lighter weight than Prismacolors and um, Polychromos. Even Artezas are heavier and thicker. These are definitely thinner than those. They do have the really cool black, which, you know, gives you black shavings. It's kind of unique. However, a lot of these have off-center cores. If you watched my last video, my favorite sharpener is this Tagal. Unfortunately, I cannot sharpen any of these in a Tagal. <laughs> so, that was a little disappointing. Um, I tried several times because the Jagal doesn't take as much wood off. And every time I would sharpen, this core here would break loose. And as I was coloring, you could feel it just wiggling, which is beyond obnoxious. And then eventually it would just break out. That's why some of these pencils here in this set are super short. I kept trying to salvage it with my Tagal and I just kept destroying the pencil and finally I realized it wasn't going to work so I broke out my battery operated one which was the only one that would sharpen them to a great point and they wouldn't break. So keep that in mind you will not be able to probably use any manual sharpeners even my little metal ones were breaking it. You're going to probably need your battery or electric one and that means wood is going to get chewed up, but again, you can replace them for fairly cheap. So that, that is one drawback that I wanted to point out. You are going to chew them up a lot faster. And the other drawback is these are not open stock. So say I run out of just this color here, Ladybug. Unfortunately, I would have to go buy the entire Black Widow set, just the 24 count to replace this ladybug. Uh, so it would kind of suck if say there was a color in Black Widow and Scorpion that I used a ton. I would have to go and buy both of those sets to replace those two pencils, which can get incredibly expensive, especially if you're not using all of the colors equally. And that is always a drawback with these budget pencils, especially, you know, if they don't have open stock, Sometimes you end up spending more on a budget pencil than just buying a Prismacolor. You know, I ran out of this Prismacolor here the other day. You can tell I used it to its very last possible point. But I just went on um, Blick Arts and ordered five of these open stock. I didn't have to go buy the whole 150 count set. I could just go buy this. And replacing these with five, because I go through this color a lot, was still cheaper than replacing what it would cost me to buy a whole set of this. So that is one thing to keep in mind. But even though I have those drawbacks, 
I was really impressed with the quality of these pencils. The wax is very smooth. I mean, there's other wax brands out there that claim they're artist grade. Um, these, when you consider how cheap they were, they blend beautifully. They are super silky. I didn't find any scratchy ones. I, I actually really loved how they went on to paper. And that's where I did a little trial run here. So this whole page, hopefully the whole thing's on camera, yeah. This whole page I did in Black Widows, except <clears throat> the background, those are pastels. I wasn't quite confident with my Black Widow skills to try and make a background just yet, but I used four color blends here. Uh, I used five different colors on the wood grain, uh, four different colors here. I just love how bright and vibrant these greens are. You know, I love how well the reds and oranges blend together, the purples. You know, one thing I did notice when I was doing these mushrooms is I really missed the color Artichoke from Prismacolor and Jasmine because that's my favorite combo for mushrooms. And I just couldn't find a good equivalent in the Black Widow. But I'm still happy with how these turned out. I did use, and I made sure to use, a pencil from every single one of the five tins in here and they all blend perfectly together. I mean, I, I was really impressed at how smooth they are, but even more important, comparing to Prismacolor, Prismacolor is very smudgy. You know, you run your finger over it, you can accidentally smudge it onto the page, which is why some people put a paper towel down as they're coloring over it. These don't move like Prismacolors, once they're down, they're pretty solid. I mean, they will smudge if I really tried, but they're by no means like Prismacolor where you can accidentally smudge across and have to erase. But, I mean, like I said, the colors are super vibrant, so making natural looking greenery isn't always an option. They do have a couple neutral tones for greens here. Uh, but a lot of them are just not easy to blend with. You know, they're different color families within these greens. So creating something super natural looking and then trying to find a brown is limiting. But regardless, I was super impressed with how well these went down on this paper, the vibrancy of the color, and the leads are harder than Prismacolor. So I could sharpen it to a very fine point in my battery sharpener and it wouldn't break on me. Unlike Prismacolor where if I go super sharp that thing is going to snap right off. You can press hard with them, they take very well to it, and overall I was just really impressed honestly. So even if I found myself running out of a single color and having to buy a tin, I'm going to buy that tin because I really enjoy these pencils so much that I'm probably going to do a tutorial once I get some more color combinations down. But they're very versatile. I think I could even try blending them with my Prisma colors, which I'm going to do. And if that works out, I will have a ton of colors because the colors that you get here, a lot of these are not with your Prisma colors. There are some that overlap, um, and there's a lot of conversion charts out there. So if you buy these, you can do a Prisma color to Black Widow conversion chart, and you will find some matches, but they're not quite exactly the same. So like, you know, where I'm missing some of these blues, I could totally supplement with the tons of blues in my Prisma colors. Same thing with the greens, and I think that'll open the door to make some really pretty pictures. And then even these grays here were really rough to work with, <laughs> very lacking. But I'm going to be testing those again and playing around and seeing how well they match up with my Prisma colors and if they're friendly on paper. But it's even still, with the price and all that and all these pencils in my awkward case, I really loved these pencils. They were fun to work with 
And while it was frustrating with the sharpening, you know, it is what it is. And I'm definitely going to order these again. And if you are looking for a budget pencil, if you were say in between Castle Art and these, I would actually go with these over the Castle Art. And the reason I say that is the Castle Art are not as smooth as these. They only come in the 32 and 72 or something in that range um, sets. So you would have to buy a much bigger set to replace a pencil. Whereas these, like I said, they come in those five separate tins. So you just have to buy that one tin. You're never going to pay more than 17 bucks total to replace. <clears throat> so oh, you'll have to ignore my puppy if you hear her barking in the background. She doesn't respect my YouTube time. But either way, definitely if you want a budget pencil and you really don't want to do the Prismacolors yet, then I would recommend these over Castle Art because I just found these were so much more fun to work with. They're not as dusty. You don't get a ton of wax bloom. I really enjoyed them. And if you have used Black Widows, I would love to hear your opinion on, you know, how you liked them. Also, if you've blended them with Prismacolor, I'd love to see some pictures and see how it worked out. And then if you have any tips or tidbits for using Black Widows, it's always appreciated. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified of any new postings. And then if you found this helpful, just don't forget to hit that like button so other people deciding whether or not Black Widow is worth the, the price can find my review and see if this is the right pencil set for them. But until next time, just keep coloring.